of where we come from. What about code switching? So when I got to college, I was told that I wasn't black enough and I was very confused. I was like, what do you mean I'm not black enough? Like, what do you what do you mean? Like, I was very confused when I would go to meetings with and like, let's say like BSU or other like organizations where I would talk about blackness as it related. And they were like, but bro, you're Dominican. And I would be like, I'm confused. See, you came in proud. I was on the complete opposite spectrum. I was like so ignorant to all of that. Like I and kind of like we were talking about like anti-blackness and all of that. I literally had no idea that I was black or that Dominicans are black. I honestly, yeah, I, in my head, like before I came and I understood the difference between, you know, your ethnicity and your nationality and your race. I was like, I'm Dominican. Where is that on the checklist? Like, y'all got that? <laughs> yeah, Why yeah. there's no boss for us? Yeah, like, where's yeah. that? Yeah. Like, I thought Dominican was a race. Like, I was ready to, <laughs> yeah. I was ready to die on that hill. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, it took a lot of educating and learning and then, but, like, that's the thing. The reason why we feel that way and why there's still Dominicans that are like, no, we're not black, we're not white, we're Dominican. And we're like, there's so many more levels to that. It's because of our upbringing because, like, that's not, and nobody in my family talked about being black. Like, that's not about that. It's more about the skin tones and about that kind of stuff. But nobody is like, oh, we're black. You you never heard that. It was just, like, claiming Dominican, Dominican, Dominican. And I think that's the thing. 